travel day. Leaving home. Heading to Anastasia Island. You ready? I think so. Where are we going? Anastasia Island. Oh boy. Our favorite yeah. place. Our favorite place. Big yeah. travel day. So, um, I'm ready if you are. Okay. I'm gonna get my sunglasses and then we're out of here. Okay. All right. And because it's so close to home, we are actually going to take my Jeep. So we'll have an extra vehicle at the park. Ready? I'm ready if you are. What are you going to do? I'm going to put it in drive. Okay. Favorite park. Site 56, our favorite site. Let's do it. So what do you think about the site? I, I think I love it. All these sites are so private. You know, you don't see your neighbors. They don't see you. Especially this one. It looks like there's a kind of an, a relic dune that's in between us and the next one over there. And of course, on this side is the road. And um, so we don't have anybody over there, just a little traffic now and then, but still very private. It's a really nice site. It took us about, that took us about 10 minutes to set up. Oh, we don't have our chairs out. I gotta do the chairs. You gotta stalk. And what are you going to do today? Well, I already like worked on my curtains and the van. And why'd you go work on them? What's the issue? Because we have those accordion shades. And when you go to push them down, they all bunch up in the bottom. And okay, this is a pet peeve. <laughs> it's a pet peeve. So. It's, it's just, it doesn't work well. So I made some curtains and we can film it in a little bit, but. So that way we can just push them down, leave them down. 
So that's a pet peeve of yours? Oh, definitely. Pet peeve are the shades and the bands. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think most people that have them, they annoy them. I mean, and it, I hate having them up all the time because you can't see out and it doesn't leave that light into the van. And so hopefully this will work for now. Okay, what are you doing? Making another spoon for you out of cedar that we actually got here in Anastasia State Park. Um, like weeks and weeks ago. Oh, uh, this is my fourth spoon out of uh, the pieces that we got. Yeah. So we're getting ready for dinner and um, Juanita's over here fixing stuff. So I'll bring you over here and let you see what she's going, what's going down on her end. All right, Juanita, let's see what's going on. Well, <clears throat> I'm chopping all the vegetables. We're going to have Dutch oven tacos tonight for dinner. But, so you've already chopped up the onions, yes. the garlic. Scallions, cilantro, cilantro, tomatoes, and now lettuce. Lettuce. And so, we um, got the little Dutch oven show out. Show them the new little Dutch oven. That's the new little Tell Dutch what oven. Size it is. It's actually a two-quart Dutch oven, which is really small, but it is um, called Stansport. But Stansport. If you're if you're out cooking for two people, you don't need a large Dutch oven for. So this one works. Makes too much. So we're just gonna make a small amount. Okay. We're gonna see. It's our first camp meal with the Dutch oven. Oil, a little oil, olive oil. Onions. So what are you trying to do, caramelize those? Yeah, just a little. And garlic. That's so cute, that's so cute. Okay, ground beef going in. So we're going to saute this ground beef with the onions and garlic. I'm putting a little bit of beef bouillon just to give it a little more beefy flavor. It's the beef that comes out of the jar. It's really salty, so watch your salt level. Okay, into the ground beef, we're going to use a package of taco seasoning. Okay, um, <clears throat> David likes spicy, really spicy, so we're going to use some chipotle pepper sauce. We're actually just going to use the adobe adobo sauce and not the whole pepper. This is a great flavor, but don't use too much. It's spicy. But we like spicy. Give that to me again. We like spicy. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to put some beans, uh, black beans, or any kind of beans you like. For this amount, a half a can is fine. I'm going to put a little bit of salsa into the meat mixture. Okay, here's what makes it a one pot meal. Throw your Fritos on top.
throw your cheese on top of that. Let this heat up a little bit, melt the cheese. Put the lid back on. Lift the top off in about three minutes. Your cheese is melted. And then we're gonna garnish with some onions and scallions. Some tomatoes. Some cilantro. Lettuce. Avocado. We now have taco in a pot. Take a picture. Let's eat. Not only is it a one pot meal, it's you eat out of the pot, so there's no more dishes to do. How about it? Hot. <laughs> mm. Mmm, 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 that is delicious, I'm the telling you, mmm. The next time you see Owen, he needs to give you some dance lessons. All right. <laughs> delicious, let's eat. Only thing that can make this dinner better is a couple of Coronas on a dollop of sour cream. <laughs> One Corona, two Corona. And we have lime in there too, but I'll get that later. But here it is. What could be better? How was it? Oh my goodness. Oh, out of this world. The best tacos in a pot that I can ever remember. Oh, it's the first time you've made it. It was really good though. <laughs> Really good. <clears throat> this is going to wash the dish I guess, and the two spoons. I guess I get to wash the dish and the two spoons. Yeah. I'm the dishwasher. <laughs> Since you cook, I got a dishwash. It's the way it rolls around here. So it's really quiet in this campground today. There's no, I don't know if it's nobody here or, which I can't imagine for Anastasia, it's always packed, but everybody's quiet. I don't know what it is. We haven't even left the campsite. Yeah, but well, I we have. I, um, I I did leave because I forgot the gas to cook on, so I had to go to the next gas station up to get a bottle of gas. I don't know how I forgot gas today, but um, I take it out. He was trying to sabotage my meal. Like, how do you forget the gas? Well, I did forget it and uh, just had to go get more. That should be all it takes. How about dessert? Well, we have some leftover Easter candy, the little peeps. Peeps! And we're going to roast them. You know you guys don't eat them at Easter time. So what do you do with them? Uh, we roast them. We're going to have chicks or rabbits. So it's time to eat the bunny and the chick. I don't think they've been there long enough. Well, that one looks good. He's browning up a little bit, isn't he? <laughs> oh, rabbit's browning. 
Oh, bunny's browning. Turn the rabbit. Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> Don't I'm eat being scalded. Me. <laughs> I'm being scalded. Oh no. no! Turn the bunny. Oh! Uh oh! Lost one in the fire. Oh, getting ready to lose another oh, one. Oh no! Fire. No 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 no! Oh crap! <laughs> So you have to get another one. Give me, I'll eat it. Oh, that's hot. It's hot I it's bet. Hot, hot. Maybe too hot to eat. Oh. <laughs> too hot to eat? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, it's mm. on your chin. It's everywhere. Mm. <laughs> Edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. We're going to end this video on Anastasia Island. And when you look at it, it doesn't seem like we did very much. We didn't do very much. We just sat around, enjoyed ourselves, cooked, and didn't even leave the campsite on day one. Yeah, we had three nights and we could like just fill you on the rest of it, but it looked exactly like the first day. I could have just stayed at that campsite I never left it, but we did go to the beach. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, it was a fun time. And, you know, Anastasia's are one of our most favorite state parks, and it's so convenient to us. So anytime we can find a few days, we just pack up and go. So it's a great place to go. And other than that, I apologize for the delay, but um, I got caught up in a four-day fishing trip and figured I'd better do that before finishing this video. Yeah. That was much more fun, trust me. Another Grey Goose adventure. Another Grey Goose adventure.